Hello everybody. Uh, I thought we could have a go at doing some painting today. Um, and we're just going to make a, an abstract design uh, using household objects. So I've collected together a whole load of things that I found lying around the house that I can draw around to make silhouettes. Okay, so it could be anything you like, you just need a collection of things. Just to give you an idea, I found an old plastic bottle, I found a wooden spoon, toothbrush and a coaster and a CD case CD. Let's get them out of the way uh, a plate it's a nice round shape and then a little cup and a big cup glasses case and my favourite a sock that make a really great shape. Okay, so it's completely up to you. You need to be able to draw around the things and make sure you get a variety of square shapes, and round shapes, or maybe spoon shapes. Okay, so I'm just going to put these to one side. Um, you also need some paints. So I got myself some paint, paintbrush. So I've got four colours. So I've got a yellow and a blue, and a red and a green. And I painted four sheets of paper all over. So this is my green one. So you start at one end, paint right up to the edges, and then paint all over so there's no white bits showing. So I'll show you what that looks like. Choose the red. This is paint with quite a lot of water in it. So it needs to be quite runny, drippy paint. Okay. I've also got an apron on in case I get paint on my dress, which I don't want to happen. And lots of newspaper on the table. So you just start painting your pieces of paper. So I've got quite big bits of paper here. Depending on what paper you've got at home, if you're lucky enough to have these nice big bits of paper, that's perfect. But if you've only got smaller, say A4 sheets of paper, like printing paper, like I've at home, you could always tape some together. Yes, use some print stick to stick some sheets together to make a bigger sheet. You are going to do that. Make sure the cellar tape is on the back paper. Otherwise, when you paint, paint won't stick on to tape. Okay. And just keep on painting until the whole of your sheet has gone red. And this is why we need the newspaper because my paintbrush is going right to the edge of the paper. Just going to finish off that bit. This little bit here. There you go. Here's my jar of water. Wash my paintbrush. 
Now we've ended up with a sheet of paper, which is red all over. I've got some newspaper on the floor down here. So we might plan to dry that, leave that to dry. So we're going to do that four times with four sheets of paper. So that's my red sheet. This is my green sheet. This one is my blue sheet. And here is my yellow sheet. And I've already made a start. So from the blue sheet, I got CD. So that's, that's where the CD was. And then plate. Plate was there. And I think that was the toothbrush gap. So what I do is choose one of the shapes. So I've still got the wooden spoon to do. So I just lay the wooden spoon on the piece of paper. Put it nice and near the edge. You don't want to put it right in the middle and then draw around it because <clears throat> you might need more of the colour for a bigger shape. So so as not to waste paper, put it right to the edge, put your pencil, finger on the object and then draw around it, making sure that you press down quite hard so that the object, in this case a spoon, doesn't move. And then draw all the way around it. that's tricky to do maybe you can get somebody else to hold it for you or somebody else to do the drawing round. Anyway that's the spoon done. I've also got my sock. I've been looking forward to this to this sock shape. So I'm going to choose a space so I can spread out the sock quite nice and flat. That's a really good sock shape but it doesn't overlap my spoon. Again, I'm going to draw an outline all the way around my sock. And I think the last thing that I've not drawn around is the glasses case, which will give a good oblong shape, I think. Let's squeeze that in that corner. Okay, so there's all of those things out of the way. Now, I'm going to cut them out. So I'm going to do the glasses case first. There you go. There's the glasses case shape. You put that to one side. Now I'm going to do the sock. For myself, keep on cutting it all the way around until we get to the top. And there's a sock, brilliant sock shape. Looking forward to getting that on my picture. And then I forget the wooden spoon. Here it is. So I've got the wooden spoon shape to cut out. I 
so you don't have to choose the wooden spoon and the sock and the glasses case for yours. It could be anything you can find that's lying around the house you can draw around. It's the most ordinary things in the house make the best shapes. Okay, I'm going to keep all these cut-offs, but I might need them for another project. Okay, so, got the wooden spoon, the glasses case, and the sock. And now I'm going to add those to my really splendid looking picture. So, so far we've got the plate. So I decided to put the plate right in this corner. And then I put the cup shape. It's overlapping a bit. And in a small cup, that is the small cup that goes on there. Yeah. That looks really nice in that corner. And then the bottle goes right over the top of the picture. And look here, we've got a toothbrush that's cutting right into that. Red shape it shows up really well against the red, doesn't it? And then this blue square here. So, a bit of overlapping is really good. You've also, you would have noticed, when I've cut the shapes out of the blue and the red, and I left my yellow as my background. That's up to you. You don't have to just stick to the same colours. Um, but if you do choose one of your sheets as a colour, so I chose the yellow one, obviously don't cut any shapes out of the yellow one, you put that one aside, that one aside, and that's your background colour. Okay, so now I need some glue. That's when I'm going to decide where my sock fits. It looks like there's a rather nice diagonal space just waiting for it there. So I think I might put it there. I'm going to try it in a different place just to check. I hope that covers up the toothbrush. I don't like that there. Because it, you know, it's overlapped here. So I think it's going to have to go there, which is a good job because it looks lovely. Then, where am I going to put this shape? I think I might put that there. So that overlaps that bit nicely. And then I've got space for my wooden spoon along the top here. Yeah, I'm happy with that arrangement. So let's go for the glue. Let's just move the glasses case slightly. So I'm going to remember where that's going. Turn it over. So glue all the way around. Making sure you just put plenty of glue on. Go over that again, all the way around on the edges of the shape. Okay, turn that over, lay that down, press it down. Okay, now for the glasses case, that's going down as well. Glue all the way around. It's going to go over that shape. And lastly, the wooden spoon shape. And straight across the top there. So, there you have it. That's my silhouette shape picture. You can see all those familiar shapes that they turned into this lovely abstract pattern. So, I hope you like my picture and I hope you enjoy making your own picture. So, good luck with making your picture and hopefully I'll see you next time. Okay, bye bye for now.